can't be covered in dirt or mud or succulent juice. I know cacti can also be hallucinogenic. Watch out, there's a purple bear behind you. Look at these little chonky boys. Look at this little chonky boy. One of these is for hydration. What's the second one for? Gin. Hello, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jonathan. This, well, I bless you. This is Noodle and this is Tools of the Trade. We reach out to entrepreneurs in our community who we love and we ask them to curate a box of items that they need to get through their day. Every entrepreneur who's achieved uh, success to, to whatever degree, we all know they've got a good work ethic, they work hard, they work late, they wake up early, they love what they do, but I want to know like, what's in your bag? What's in your bathroom closet? That's what I want to know. And not because I'm a creep, but because I am inquisitive. And I like to think that I'm not one of those people who, if you asked me to house it, would go through all of your drawers. But I have yet to be asked, and I won't know until that threshold is crossed. So this week's box was curated by Daniela and Andanette of Ponderosa Cactus, which is a succulent and cactus shop that was um, established in Highland Park, California. These two grew up loving plants as their parents owned a nursery. So they learned everything there was to about growing cacti and making these things survive in these really harsh environments. And during the drought in California, these two realized that they had an alternative to helping people with their lawns. So Ponderosa Cactus was born. So I was super excited when they said they would curate this box for me because I am a member of a succulent subscription service. So every month I get two succulents up to my desk, but I care for them like I, they are truly my children. I've, I've killed three. Two of them was shipping, I had nothing to do with it. The other one was, comp I drowned them. I cared for them too much. Anyway, we're gonna get into this box because I've just been rambling. The first item we have in the Ponderosa Cactus box is, I'm looking at a box that says Galactic Brain. Galactic Brain, Palo, oh, Palo Santo, this is incense, right? Yeah. Palo Santo, okay, this is incense. <music> Essentially what it does is it helps to clarify a space. So the first thing you wanna do is you have to set an intention, a positive intention for the space that you're in, whether it's I want to have a good day of business or I want everyone to feel joy in my place of business. Then light it, burn it, and then fan it, and then enjoy the cleansing smoke. This is a great way to sort of reset the either intentions or the mood of any room you're in, whether you have your own um, nursery, this big beautiful nursery, or you are, you know, you're crafting, or you're like Noodle, and you are, is he asleep? Or you're like Noodle and you very well may be unconscious. We don't know, but I bet this will totally soothe him. The next item we've got in the Ponderosa Cactus Box is, what are you? Is this an apron? Oh, this is like a gardening. This is like a gardening apron, yeah? Or like, okay, okay, great. Oh, I like this. Look at this. So we have here a gardening apron smock, hybrid, that is apparently really good for uh, working with succulents and cacti and anything that has sort of spikes on them. Um, so the material that it's made out of is uh, super durable and it's also pretty cute. And I bet that this is something that they have to wear every single day. Anyone who, you know, takes care of, of plants in any capacity knows that these are necessary to have because you, <laughs> you got to run a business, right? You can't be covered in dirt or mud or succulent juice. I know cacti can also be hallucinogenic. Could you imagine you're running a business, you forget your gardening smock, and before you know it, you are tripping your way through a sale of succulents? Oh, hi, thank you for coming to my store. This is so great. Watch out, there's a, you know, a purple bear behind you. That's not a great way to keep customers in your store. So I would advise using one of these, whatever you do. So the next item we have in the Ponderosa Cactus Box is, Makeup brushes. These are makeup brushes. They do not use them to apply makeup. They use them to clean up and sort of declutter their succulents and cacti after they have repotted them. And I'm sitting here with a trove of gnarly, dirty succulents in my apartment that I have had no idea how to clean. I'm sure that this is a little trick that they must have picked up from their parents. If you're growing up in this environment, I'm sure this is like a true tool of the trade. Noodle, look at the brushes. Sir, look at the brush. So the problem with Noodle is he actually doesn't believe in eco-friendly anything. 
I could actually probably use one of these to clean right in here. Okay, the next item we've got in the Ponderosa Cactus Box is a waterproof portable speaker. I think this is a really awesome thing to have whether you are running around the office or you're running around your nursery or you just, you know, are not sure where your next office is gonna be. Could you imagine if you're one of those people in the subway and they just sit there with their speakers and I'm like, it's seven o'clock in the morning. I will never not wanna listen to Mary J. Blige, but can you turn it down? Okay, the next item we've got in here. Ooh, these, look at these little chonky boys. Look at these little chonky boys. Look at this little chonky boy. Oh, we got three of them. Bam, bam, bam. Noodle, you're like a 1.1 liter thermos. What's different about these three things? They insulate heat, they're huge, um, they're portable, although they may not look it, and they're double wall vacuum insulated except Noodle does not have an easy carry loophole. There's nothing easy to carry about this dog. A lot of people look at these flasks and they think, I don't need something to hold that much water. You're forgetting about soup. You're forgetting about coffee. You're forgetting about wine. One of these is for hydration. What's the second one for? Gin. The next item we have in the Ponderosa Cactus box, Noodle, do you want to take this one out? They pay him here. They have pet insurance options here. He milks them for all they're worth, just like I taught him. The next item we have in this box is, it's another box. The layers, you guys, the layers. Is there another box in here? Is it gonna be one of those? Is this a car GPS? Oh yeah. You have to have GPS when you're in Los Angeles. I have been there two times and I remember each time going, this is just a huge, hot desert suburb. It's very important to be on time for any meeting, whether you know if you're a business owner or you're starting to own a business and you're meeting clients or you're meeting investors. Oh my God, congratulations, you're meeting investors. You don't wanna be late. So this is a super practical item. I actually cannot believe that someone is gonna win this. You guys, this is a fabulous little thing. The final item in the Ponderosa Cactus box is, oh, they're espresso cups. No matter what you're working on, no matter how much you love what you do, oh my gosh, I started my own business. I grew up loving these plants and these succulents. I grew up loving this being in this environment and now I get to work there. These people still need some help to get through the day. Could you imagine you're watering a ton of plants and you just start to doze? No, you, you can't compromise that. And I will say this also speaks to how classy these ladies are. These are double walled espresso cups. There's, there's nothing casual about these, these are brilliant. That's everything in the Ponderosa Cactus Box. I was so blown away by the items that you guys put in here. Um, it was the makeup brushes. I'm losing my mind over that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in uh, to this week's episode. I was so inspired by the things that I saw in the Ponderosa Cactus Box. If you like this show, please feel free to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. And don't forget to ring the bell to get a notification every time a new episode goes live. We post content just like this every single week for you guys to watch and enjoy and to learn from. And I really hope that you will subscribe. For Noodle, for myself, for everything that I learned about taking care of my small and vulnerable plants. Thank you so much for watching and we can't wait to see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe on YouTube if you did like watching this video and be sure to tune in next time.